Hey everyone. What's up? Doing a mail run. Mail run clog. <clears throat> um, got the mail and out all the orders and stuff ready to go for today. And our we just got a second delivery of mail, and I hope I saw a padded bubble mailer envelope with some blanks in it being put in the mailbox. And the mail today, that's the first one. I thought you brought in mail earlier. No, we didn't have time. Oh, my bad. I'm all, I'm all lying to everybody. Whoops. Have confirmed with Abigail. She is working on getting her and my clog video uploaded uh she has made it safely back home why is there so much grease on that hand that door rail that's disgusting i'm a greasy well yes dirty dirty boy oh who's this from is that rapture Wesley? yeah rapture is that um, all ours or? uh yes probably i went a little crazy went a little crazy buying blanks but Shop turn pins by me this weekend. This coming weekend for the shop drop. I don't know how many. I know we'll have at least one flower girl palm placer. Oh, you are gonna turn that one? I'm gonna turn them to like this thing. Oh wow, okay. So there'll be y'all y'all hear that first. Well, I don't know if you don't know when it will get any patrons that'll see this. <laughs> I know, I told you I went a little crazy. Oh, look at that beautifulness. Even through the bubble wrap, it's just gorgeous. But today's the last day of June, so tomorrow being the first of the month, maybe we will get some patrons. <laughs> if not, this stuff will be here for when you ever join us. More pretty princess pins, princess blanks. Nice, pretty, sparkly things. Yeah, and I didn't even get in. I missed all of the blanks in his first drop post completely. Ooh. Oh, those are some pretty ones. Those are really pretty ones. Hold it up to the camera. We can show them. They're so pretty. Well, your hands cover most of it up, babe. Look at how beautiful. The only problem is those are difficult to turn is the material used in them, but they're gorgeous. More beautiful ones. So pretty. They be turned or picked for custom blanks to be up in the shop. Our big order of flower girl blanks, maybe we'll get it tomorrow because she's just in Tennessee, one state over. So it only usually takes just a couple of days for us to get them and it was marked as being shipped on Tuesday today's Thursday so hopefully tomorrow Friday it'll be here and those Edward will turn over time you know and just make those as ready to ship pins yeah exciting exciting so I was just talking with Bev checking in with her hopefully you heard how it did she's I told her that we missed her, and um, she says she misses you too. <laughs> no, she says she misses both of us, but I know she really just misses Edward. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, one order that we had screwed up, well, we, I, I screwed it up previously, got the remakes done, and come to find out today, it was screwed up again. So, we're going to do a third attempt to properly correct this person's order. Um, but in our defense, in my defense, the second screw up, not entirely my fault. Because there was so much back and forth, it was a miscommunication on what size. So, I'm not taking ownership of that. Even though Edward cursed at me. I walked away from telling him what we needed to do, or what he needed to do, and I said, I love you, and what did you say? I love you too, baby. That, oh, quit lying. Quit <laughs> What'd you say? I said, I love you, and you said, I feel I love you more. 
Oh my God, you are white. Honey, this is the place to speak your mind. I said I don't. <laughs> no, that is not what you said. I said I love you and you yelled I can't remember what I said. Oh, so that's what happens when you have hatred in your heart. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I we've we, we caught up. Things slowed down a little bit, so I should be able to try to cast that mixture again tomorrow. Well, and we need to make those anyway because those always sell. So yeah, it'd be good. So, yeah, so. I'll try it. Oh, I had a pimple and I just scratched it. Yeah. But, yeah, we're gonna do that. I casted a new mixture today. What'd you end up putting in? I didn't put no flakes in it. I did a, a, I did the teal with a teal glitter. I did a hot pink dye with a hot pink type of glitter. And then I did a purple with a purple glitter. You mixed all three of those together? Yes. So you put the purple glitter in the purple yeah. pigment? Yeah. So it gives sparkle. Okay. I'm interested to see how that turns out. Oh, all right. There's a darker purple. Kokio uh, gray. Okay. Good Saturday morning, everyone. Everybody had a good and productive week. We did. Yeah, we think we got back on well track. We think we slowed down some, so that helped me get back on track. <laughs> we were able to catch up on everything. Everything's looking pretty good schedule wise, I think. Yeah. We're getting the pins out pretty fast. As soon as we're getting them done, and it seems, you know, the new system we got where I'm turning all the pins and our helper, my brother, is just polishing and, you know, sanding. Yeah. It seems that, you know. I think that's working nicely. Yeah. I think when we get, uh, we can't pour it. I think when the other our second machine gets back, it'll be more smoother. Well, I wouldn't have to, you know, stop and let him come up, but I would end up having to polish some at the end. So, what we're going to do, we got to go drop a few packages at the post office. We've got one for UPS. We need to get gas and grocery shop and get dog treats. And uh, little label. Oh yeah, I need to look for some labels. Good times. I did tell you we got our first patron, didn't I? Uh, I meant to. If I, I didn't, I, I'm sorry. I know you had said something, but I couldn't hear who, who it was. You mean you weren't listening to me? Well, I don't, that's one thing I didn't, uh, didn't mention before, or didn't think about too much is whether or not to name names. And yeah. since I don't know, I better, uh, be more cautious and not name yeah. names. But we've got, we've got one Patronus. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> and that Patronus needs some friends, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> We will, uh, you know, like I said, we're, we plan on offering a discount to our patrons for a shop. Once we figure out how to do that. Well, I've made the discount code. I just okay. need to make a post on Patreon. Okay. I just, I got to get it together, man. Yep. So, <laughs> yeah, said, so yep. you become a patron and you know, get a discount for a shop and, you know, awesome. The only thing I didn't apply the discount to is the diamond paintings for now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I'm probably going to add those into it in the future, but for now, they're not. And then, um, like for when people send us blanks and we just charge the turn fee, it's not applied to that. Um, but all the other stuff, it is. And it's a pretty, pretty good discount, too. Well, I did 10%. Okay. Um, and depending on how much you purchase or whatever, that's going to more than pay for yeah. the Patreon membership. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we are. Yeah, we that was just a dead chicken beside the road. Rip. Sorry. Got our new uh, holiday diamond painting up for pre-order. Yeah, um, the so, sneak peek preview video on YouTube went out for that yesterday on Bev B's channel, and the, she has one version of it. There's actually two different versions. Uh, the other version is supposed to be shown today. And that up for pre-orders. Oh, speaking of pre-orders, um, that last round of pre-orders we did for My Sword, Golden, The Raven, um, those are, the tracking is saying they're going to be delivered to us uh, this coming Wednesday. So that is Way really fast. fast. Way faster than before. It is because, it, all right, check this out. I placed the order... The day before I went to the retreat, which was what, almost three weeks ago? Yeah. Didn't think another thing of it, but when I got back from the retreat and looked at our business um, emails, the manufacturer had emailed asking me a question. So I'm operating under the assumption that they didn't even produce them until I answered their question. So, knock a week off of that. So, I don't know how they got here so fast. But, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to be thankful for it. Put on one of your new speed barges. <laughs> yeah. Maybe so. But, yes, yeah, so we we'll have those. And as we get those, we'll start mailing those out to the everyone who pre-ordered. Yeah. And then, uh, got to see how many pre-orders we get for the holiday when we got coming out. And then we've got some other ones uh, we sent testers out to people who might start pre-orders on those. Well, so, uh, it's actually only one. Yeah. And she's working on it. it. It looks amazing so far. Yeah, there's only the one other one. Because the other, the other sample that we got, I kept. And I haven't touched it. Well, we'll probably be putting those up in pre-order sometime. And then maybe another Emma Casey for pre-order. Well, we, I want to get one of our new artists going, but you know what, that just reminds me, I've got to finalize all the paperwork on that. I'm, I'm still dropping the ball, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, a lot of, lot of spinning plates I have. We're doing our thing, trying to, to keep it going. It's it's a lot for just two of us. Yeah. Well, that would, you know, thing slowed down a little bit. And uh, we just realized with the PayPal, it put the stuff on hold until it's delivered. So we don't get that money now. Yeah. Until the package is delivered to you. Which that can be... It's, it's going to get a little complicated when we're dealing with pre-ordered items. Yeah. And it's paid using PayPal. Yeah, um, yeah cause we usually use the well pre-order money to go ahead and get stuff started. You know, so. Yeah. Because it's... That's a big expense and... I say again, sadly we are not rolling in the money. Yeah. But I 
think I think it'll work out if we're if we just need to be smart. Yes. Stop buying two thousand dollars worth of planes anyway. Because <laughs> I seen somebody shots fired. I seen somebody yesterday. I wouldn't go say that, but I seen somebody calling blinks out or a blink drop yesterday. Well, hold on. That's just to kind of round out an order of remakes of four other blanks. I was like, well, let me just add a couple of more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like it. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. You see that order about 2000 dollars this week? Not quite 2000 Maybe about half that. But I'm going, you know, I'm going to be turning in for the shop. Hopefully they, you know, be turned by me and hopefully I'll snatch them up. Well, like I told you before, somebody told me, face-to-face, yeah. -face, in person, that, uh, you know, the other Turner shapes, they're nice, but they're she'll nice. only buy them if you do them, so. so. so I'm doing the turning now, everybody. For now. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Kia, she was like, uh. She was asking, she was like, so where y'all going to eat today? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't know. She said, Cracker Barrel? I said, I don't know if she wants to try that for. I said, I don't know. I said, we got a little thing to run in town. She said, well, if y'all ever go to Greenville, she said, there's a place called First Watch. She said, they do like a brunch. Mm. And, and she was like, y'all got to try that. She said, me and my husband went last weekend, first time. She said, and the food was amazing. The first watching. Well, we're just gonna have to go. So I told her, I said, she said, look at that. Not today, but. Yeah, I said, I don't know. I said, we might stay in town and then maybe I hop or something. You know what I want to do though? For some Patreon video footage, I want us to go back uh, and visit New Bern. Okay, yeah. We I haven't like go downtown. We yeah. haven't gone back there in a long time. Well, they have a moon fest to be coming up in October. Okay. My first watch. See their menu. Whoa, billion dollar bacon. <laughs> hit Sold. Me, hit, hit me a million dollar bacon. She's like, it's something different. She said, they went, they got brunch. Fresh, made to order breakfast, brunch, and lunch creations. It's high quality entertainment here, folks. Yeah, yeah. so sorry. sorry. When we're talking about food, you know, I start <laughs> concentrating on food. I think they're used to it by now. So I got all of the misplaced drills on my diamond painting taken off and I put down the correct ones. I actually did diamond paint for a little bit the other day. A barbaco of quesadilla benedict? What's that? I, benedict, I don't like benedict stuff because I need my eggs cooked all the way. A juice bar. Boost your juice with a wellness but, shot of vitamin B. Alright, sorry. Okay, y'all gonna have to let us know. Do you like hearing food stuff? Well, I know you like hearing food stuff, but see, I'm just thinking, well, maybe they don't want to hear food stuff because okay. you're not here to be able to enjoy the food stuff. Okay. And making everybody hungry. A chicken chunga omelet? <laughs> <laughs> but no, the misplaced, the drills that were put down wrong were on my, um, Game of Thrones canvas, the Dracaris one, the enormous one, but I love it so much because it is color blocking heaven. I'm really enjoying working on it for the most part. I'm having a few small little issues, but I haven't quite worked out if that's issues with me multi-placing squares because I haven't done that in so long. Or if it's issues with the drills and or the canvas. Because um, we know that, you know, Diamond Art Club, like, 
um, how is it said it? They tightened up their drill field so that there was be less gapping between the drills. But I'm finding that I'm not always having enough space, which leads me to think, well, I probably am trying to put too many drills down. So I'm just working through those things. Um, the biggest culprit I'm having that problem with are the ABs, and there are a crap ton of ABs in that. There's like there was like four big bags of the red AB in that painting. But anyway, um, I did not enjoy having to rip up the the drills that were put down wrong. But I got it done, and I fixed it, and I must say, it's looking rather amazing. I have to figure out now how to go about working on this canvas, because it's so big. I'm going to have to, I think, I'm going to have to end up putting the laptop on top of the canvas, because the space I have available on the table to work, the, the, the canvas is hanging off of it. And that's the short way of the canvas. Until we can get a bigger place and have you a nice gig. Well, I know this is going to take me a long time to do this diamond painting, but hopefully I'll have it done before because we're 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 looking way down the road, way way down the road for any possibility of moving. I've always wanted you know, like a night at a round table type of kitchen table to sit about twenty people. <laughs> Well, honey, we just were talking about in less than 10 minutes ago how business had slowed down. So, yeah. I, I think we need to put a pin in moving for now. Okay. Well, if we just buy an old abandoned school, we'll turn it into a house. Keep <laughs> Probably haunted. It's a school. They own. Schools can be haunted. Cemetery. Well, it depends. The school to carry went to, man. <laughs> oh man so anyway um, just remember that place and let's plan on just going there next weekend then pop my ears like I'm back in the mountains or something man. Mm. you know I'm surprised that the, the clog video of me and Abigail hasn't gone viral yet my feelings are a little hurt it was rather entertaining you, need, you haven't even watched it, of course. Abigail, which I don't know why I'm talking to her because she doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> but it was very funny, I think. It's a good time. It brought back a lot of memories. And I, th I think she's planning on releasing the second one in the series sometime next week. Which I need to try to find a box so I can package up and ship her, all of her swag stuff back to her. I've got, I've got her shop inventory sitting in my craft room. So she can't really open her shop until she has her stuff. Well, because the plan was we were going to meet up with them when they were driving back home. But then we got sick, and it was something like 1 a.m. when they came back through North Carolina. So they just, you know, it just didn't work out. And I would say, you know, we, I could just give it to her in person when we go to the wedding. But that's not till September. I don't think she wants to keep her shop closed until September. Yeah. Yeah, so I really need to get it repackaged so I can get it sent out to her. <sighs> so anyways. Yeah, we're moving on. It's so nice having extra cup holders. There are there are cup holders down in the doors, but I tell you what. I fit a bottle, a little bottle of water. Well, I'm too damn short to reach it. Yeah, I mean, trying to break her down this morning to snuggle with it. You, you, you got to snuggle for a few minutes, but then it got too hot, and I told you to move. I'm sorry. She feels 
so good, kiss me. It was too hot. Scrambled eggs. My husband, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> they nice. Well, I have to keep a barrier between us. You be trying stuff too much. <laughs> We are going to eat at Aggie's. Okay. I want me some Aggie's egg rolls. What time does it say on the door there? Monday to Saturday, 11. 15 minutes. Alright, we got this. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, you, you stay here, then I'm going to go down there and get that parking spot. Okay. If you will, for your cute little frog ass up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <I'm cute. laughs> we'll see y'all later. <sighs> All right, we're on, babe. Rude. So we just ate. Oh. And that may have been a fatal error because now I don't feel like doing nothing. So we stopped at a place called Aggie's. Uh, there's a couple of locations around town here. Um, they have, you know, burgers, subs. But also things like there's some um, stir fry type dishes, um, chicken wings, and these things called Aggie's egg rolls, which is what I got. Now, bearing in mind, I haven't been to Aggie's in many years, but I just remembered how delicious these egg rolls are. They're using like those that thin wonton wrapper, and it's like seasoned cooked ground beef and glass noodles. That's all that was in there, the Aggie's egg rolls. That's how I remembered them. But they were, they were thin. They were kind of about the size of like a standard size diamond painting pen. Alright. Well, now, so many years later, they've changed. There's no longer the glass noodles in them, but instead there's cabbage, which I don't mind. It was, they're still delicious. And now, they're huge. They're like the size of one of our thick diamond painting pens from Enabler's Outpost. So, I ordered five of them thinking they were the smaller ones, but no, they're bigger. I mean, I ate them all. They were delicious. But they were just too big. But now I know for next time. Unless next time is another ten or so years and they change them again. So, what are your thoughts, dear? What'd you, uh, what'd you get? I just got a cheeseburger. And there's nothing else you know, on the menu that really caught my eye. But, hey, it was, uh, for the price, you can get stuff for that same price better, in my opinion. Um, I don't even know what yours cost, but. That was like 10 something. Well. And you know one thing I've picked up on, I don't know if you do this on purpose or not, but anytime we go to a new place, you seem to always get a burger for the first the first thing. Because if they can make a good burger, then the rest of the food you get. Okay. If the burger wasn't working for the plans, and the rest of the food is not working for the Okay. They don't like it much. Well, I think you would have liked those if they were the original ones. But anyway didn't know the large drinks were going to be these, uh, these obnoxiously that, yeah, huge cups. That's the only thing I can say. The drinks was worse than I mean, drinks are freaking huge. But you only had an option between a small or a large. Well, I'm thirsty, so a small is not going to 
do be enough. But anyway. Well, this mall was probably the size of McDonald's frogs. Maybe. But after Biff hiked it up, I was disappointed. You gotta remember, I'm, I'm digging in memory from, like, like I said, more than 10 years ago. Probably more than that, because this is back when I worked. Well, no, it was, I still worked at best, but it was I in got, the old office. I could have got that Reese's burger for $2 more. <laughs> I give up. I'm not picking anything for food from now on. Okay. No restaurants, no dinner ideas, nothing. This is this is why I don't cook anymore. It's a backhanded compliment. I did pick it back. No, you're not. You're blaming it on me. You're going to be miserable for the rest of the day. You're going to stay miserable until we go back to Breeze's so you can have your burger. No, I was really craving like breakfast. But anyway, Why did we get married? Can you do me? <laughs> do I really though? I don't know. They pushed me off here this morning. That made my move. We are a mess. Teenagers again. Oh no. I've had enough of thinking I'm young. It's gonna last me a lifetime. I need to remember from now on, Grandma Beth over here. need to get me a placard so I can get one of these close-up parking spots. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm to help you out this morning if you park the baby on board parking spot. Ew, no. That's worse. <laughs> You're just being a little ridiculous. Alright, now let's go see if I can find the kind of Labels that I needed to buy the other day. Which I let, I conveniently left my wallet at home, so he has to buy everything today. Alright, everyone. Getting kind of hot being in the window. Rest of Beth wants to take the whip through the car wash. Well, let's see what the prices are. Well, but yes, it's very dirty. You got to do it, babe. I know. It's going to be pretty expensive right back here. Well, maybe not. I'm, I'm holding out hope. Probably foolishly. things from Staples. They didn't have the exact labels I was needing, but I got something that might be a good substitute. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, let's see. Get the $14. Oh, okay. Stop it and then turn the camera around.
for the first bath of the new Enablers Outpost Mobile. <laughs> I am still going to do the scrubby for it sometime. No, we're not doing machine scrubbies. We'll do hand scrubbies. Well, that's why I'm going to have a brush for it. I'm wash it by hand. Well, you have fun with that. Okay. Now, groceries. Um. Oh, yeah, I do see the spots on the hood still. Well, they kind of got baked on pretty good. But that's okay. Still better than it was. Yeah. All right, you guys. There's seven minutes of your life you're never going to get back. <laughs> it's so, <That's> so exciting. <laughs> All right. We got to decide where. Okay. Where do you want to go for groceries, honey? No, no. Rewind about 20 minutes ago when I said I'm no longer making food decisions. You do a good job of choosing where to shop at. Where do you feel like spending money? I don't. See, that's the weird thing. I don't feel like spending money. Well, we can just not eat for a week. <sighs> we lost our momentum and our, our desire, our drive. We stopped for food. I agree. Do you want to go to food line by the house or pharmacy or Walmart my own? I'm not going to Walmart today. No, thank you. We can do food line by the house. Okay. All right. We're going to end it here, guys. Yep. Thanks for being here with us. Yep. And we will see y'all next time. Yeah. Peace out. Peace.